last time, okay? Ano yung pinaka kapit mo na? Let's start with our review. What is the big thing that you took from last time? Uh, maglista ng expenses. Yeah, maglista ng expenses. Did the ones who were here last time, did you do it? Good. Diba? Pati, pati sila. Pati sila. Good. Diba? Because, paano mo nilista? What did you do? You started with pen and paper, right? Yes. And, and then, then what did you evolve to? Then, tinuruan kami, Sir Aya, gumamit ng free app, uh, called Wally. So, every time na obibili ka, kahit taho lang, pag uh, bili mo, enter mo lang yung expense mo. Kahit pesos, gano'n. You know, from as little uh, expense, like taho, to bigger ones, like gasoline, uh, insurance, gano'n. You know, pwede mo isang. Kasi, yun yung ginawa nyo. If you look at us as vloggers, we have evolved, correct? Hindi na tayo magmamakinil niya. Hindi na tayo saling magamit ang carbon paper. Diba? We can still use those, but it's not efficient, correct? So why is it when we approach our finances, we use archaic methods like pen and paper? Bakit ganun pa rin? Pag magpa-budget, pen and paper, isusulat pa rin sa notebook. Bakit? Wala na magbago? I know there is comfort in writing. I get that. I also write. There is comfort in writing, yes. But if you want to be efficient, can you honestly tell me you can track all of your expenses in your head? Over time over days, weeks, and months. Hindi eh. So, yun nga eh. Minsan makakausap, ay, paano walang pera? Pwede ba walang pera? Kasi hindi mo lang ako sila pupunta eh. Wala ka pang budget. Bakit? Hindi mo lang ako sila pupunta eh. Saka yung tell me you can budget and you don't even know where your money is going. And there are so many things not that help you do that. I'm not connected with wallet. It's just that it's so simple. Marami dyan super complex na pwede mong i-link sa bank account mo, sa checking account mo, sa mutual fund mo, sa kung ano mo. Okay, darating din tayo doon. Kaya yung pinakasimple lang, nalista man lang natin, parang may mapag-usapan na yun. Please, feel it or not. Ay, no, alam ko, mas don't feel it. But our currency has so much money, may doon lang yun. Na maraming pera sa pinag-inas. Diba? Two and a half trillion in time deposits, ano? Legally. And that has grown by 17% a year for the past 6 years. Hindi nyo minigat na nakadeklara, hindi nyo nakatanggung sa saan. Ay, hindi posit pala yan, hindi pa checking o savings yan. Paano siya sa mga pera Pilipino? But of course, like any new venture, sumasablay. Yeah, that's why this is a pioneering thing. But most of these programs, I know, it's a one-shot deal. You attend once and they're supposed to, you're supposed to learn everything you need and tapos na. Life doesn't work like that. Learning doesn't work like that. When we write, we have drafts, correct? And this ang galing mo na lahat na lang nasulat mo. First draft, tapos ka na, submit agad. Minsan ganun, oo. But most of us, we have to work through drafts, right? We have a process. Ganun din to. You will make mistakes that's why we're here. Learning does not occur without mistakes. Sometimes they say that we learn more from your mistakes, correct? Than when if you do something right. Finance is the same thing. It's just that in finance, when you make mistakes, it really hurts. And quite often, there is no do-over. I had a discussion early on with one of the earlier writers. That's why I like arriving early. I like having discussions. Sinabi niya that, you know, medyo advanced na age niya, 40 plus, like me. Ngayon pa lang magsisimula, so too late na ba, mga ganun ganun, very common concerns. Sabi ko, okay niya, 40, niisip mo yan. In two weeks, I'll be talking to the executives of one of the largest multinational firms here, and they're terrified because they're retiring and they've never even started anything. Bakit? Because yung attitude, kasi magtrabaho ko, ganun ganun ganito, okay na ako pag-retire. Hindi pala. Pag-usapan din natin mga ganun. And they're in a worse position because they're in their mid to late 50s. And in this country, there's not much you can do at that stage. So, kayo, ano yung eye moment yun for the people who were here last night? What was the thing you would have wanted to do? Or you would have wanted to include sana? So, ano yun? Yeah. Ako, I personally like the Power 1 FB, the financial guidance. Okay. It's one of the eye openers with the last time. We have these goals, but we never put the price up. So, parang it's so big and so much. 
Doctor Dan calculator. Medyo nalagang kung mag-price na yan. Doable pa lang. Kaya pa lang. Yan yan. Last time we said, lahat naman kayo gusto mayaman. Ama. Magkano yun? May price tag na ba tayo? Masa bagong may lalang price tag. Ginagawa sa actually, oo. Diba? Pero pera na lang yung ginagawa niya. Eh, lahat naman ang ano sa bagay. Ginatamaan ang pera eh. And we pretend as if it does not matter. We pretend as if Uh, being preoccupied with money is something bigger. It's not. It's a necessity. If you want to see it, it's evil, fine. It's a necessary evil thing. Because if you want to live in this world, you have to have money. Lalo pa nag-anak ka na, ang papakain mo dyan. Paano paparalin yan? Trust our public school system, your child education? No. Ang trust yung lawsuit. Yay! Yay na naman tayo. I hope, you know, the things we discuss, at least what you decide to get started. I don't expect you to do something massive, small steps nga. Kahit yun, yeah, nalista mo lang lang, nalista mo man lang mga expenses mo. I know someone here, pinakita, nagulat siya. Yung mga assets na pala, marami na. Kala niya wala, nung nilista, ay! May magagawa naman pala. But looking at the list, what struck me was the disorganization. These are all the products. Different companies, hindi lang sa lahat. Iba-iba. Pero, haphazard yung pagbili. And based on the discussion, it was pretty much nabentahan eh. Yeah. eh kasi hindi natanggihan eh. Kasi ganito eh. Maganda naman yung produkto. Don't get me wrong. All the products were good. They were all legitimate. But were they the ones suited for what this person wants sa buhay? It's not whether the product is legal, good, or what. It's whether it will actually help you accomplish what you want. Kasi kahit kagano pa kaganda yan, if it does not do what you want it to do, at the end of the day, it's a failure. Makumita yan, sige, fine. But if it does not make enough to help you with your retirement, Well, it's not that big of a success, right? Pero kung relatively maliit lang kinita yan, but it did exactly what you wanted to do. Then it's a success. But do we even know what we want the money to do? That's why in procession, ista lang. Marikinit na. Ano masama eh, kaya tayo lang. So, where does that bring us? To the future. We all grow old. It's a fact of existence. Uh, humanity, for the longest time, has been looking for ways to either stay young or get young again. From the fountain of youth, sa ano ba yung mausong treatment ngayon? Yung pala daw, ano? Stem cells, yun! Certain senators daw, nagpapastem cell, kaya hindi parang tumatanda, kilala niyo, ha? Huwag na tayo magbigay kasi may nag-record na yan. Ba't diba? Stem cell, nagpapaano daw. Keeps you young. Okay. But what about the rest of us? Mahal yun eh. Daang libo, bawat treatment na rin eh. May mga was, especially, are stuck, they must stop. Have that. The question is, is it sufficient? Do we know what is or what will be sufficient? Because before you tell me it is insufficient, then tell me first what is sufficient. Well, bago sabihin kulang yan. By the way, kulang ka lang yan. Pero, by how much? Kasi napukulungan mo eh. And even before that, ito yung medyo controversial a few months ago. Kahit nga ako, kaya minsan hindi na ako nagbukunay, napapaaway ako pag ito usapan eh. Yan, kasi hindi yan pala. Yan. Diba? issue yan eh. Maganda ba talaga yan? And as bloggers, freelancers, many of you are, di ba, voluntary yung ano natin dyan. Worth it ba? What do you think? Okay ba mag-contribute dyan? Kung yung tagad doon, ah, bilis ah. But how do you evaluate it then? How 